I'm gonna run 10 amps through a regular pencil's graphite. Wow, this is getting. Oh my god! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Let's run 10 amps through this graphite and see how much it glows. Look at this! Now let's pass some current through the pencil lead. That way I can measure its resistance. Wow, nowadays everything blows up. Let's try again. Wow, it lights up well. Let's try 30 volt 10 amp. Let me see if I can make some arcs. Always wear safety goggles when dealing with very bright arcs. Let's try it again. Nice, look at that. Nice. Am I on fire? Let's make some arcs now. <laughs> hey, my rods are burning? Goggles. Let's see if we can melt some copper with this. Look at that, people. Molten. Oh, sh. This glove is not good for this purpose. This other technique called electrolysis hair removal, which is again mostly used by women, and some electricity passes through the hair and it falls out. I assume they use something like a taser that zaps the hair dead, and for that purpose, I'm gonna use my homemade taser. Okay, let's try it out. Here, I'd like to thank all women for going through so much pain to make themselves more appealing to us, and I wanna say it's not necessary. Some of us may like you for your looks, but at the end of the day, it's your health and attitude that makes us love you, and it's much less painful to obtain. I've made two coils, one for primary and one for secondary, and as for my AC power source, I'll plug my primary into the 120 volt AC power line. Don't plug your artworks in 120 volt AC, it's too dangerous. Why doesn't it hurt? What kind of sorcery is this? Did it decide not to hurt? Ow! Nope. It doesn't give me a shock when I do it with a piece of metal. It doesn't give me an electrical shock when I do it with my finger. Ow! Yeah. Ow. But it burns my skin into a charcoal. Anyways, if I put this piece of metal on top of the coil, it starts spinning. There is a jet of electrons shooting from the ends, forcing it to spin. 